welcome students now we are going to start the next topic concept in analysis of univariate data that is hm hormonic mean we will this is the hormonic mean is nothing but hormonic mean is a reciprocal of arithmetic mean of the Earth, uh, reciprocal of the set of observation. I'll repeat. Harmonic mean is the reciprocal of the arithmetic mean of the reciprocal of the set of observations. Okay, it's just a reciprocal of observations also, and also a reciprocal of arithmetic mean. First, we will take the reciprocal of the observations, and in formula, we will take the reciprocal of uh, mean mean uh, the formula of mean will take the reciprocal while we are solving the problem you will know about this first we will solve the problem on hm that is harmonic mean first is find hm harmonic mean of 6.9 7.8 8.2 5.6 and 3.2 okay so to find this these are the uh, values and this we call it as x value x is 6.9 7.8 8.2 5.6 and 3.2 the definition of harmonic mean says that first we will take the reciprocal of observations so i'll take the reciprocal that is 1 by x okay so 1 by x value is 0 0.1449, 0 0.1282, 0 0.1219, 0 0.1786, 0 0.3125. And the formula of HM is, the formula of AM is summation X by N. Okay, the formula of AM is summation X divided by N for our data. For here we have taken the reciprocal of the observation and again we should take the reciprocal of AM. Reciprocal of AM is N divided by summation of 1 divided by X. So this is N is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and uh, that is 5. Summation of 1 by X, take the summation that is add, add this, this is 0 0.8861. So 0 0.8861. So, HM is equal to 5.6427, 5.6427, okay. Next problem, calculate HM, your X and the frequencies 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 3, 5, 9, 4, 2. Instead of taking the reciprocal and then you multiply by F, you just take the ratio of F and X, F into X, that is F divided by X. To find HM in harmonic mean, to find the HM value, we have to take, we have to take the ratio of frequency by X, that is F by X and the values are 0 0.25, 0 0.3571. 0 0.5625, 0 0.2222, 0 0.1. Then you take the value summation, summation of F by X. It is 1.4918. So formula to find HM is N divided by summation of F by X. F by X. Here N is equal to, N is equal to, 23. This n is equal to 23. So, this 23 divided by 1.4918. So, our HM is equal to 15.418. And ex in exam, you will get this type of problem for 2 marks. In exam, on HM, you will get one problem that will be uh, of this type, not of this type, this will be, uh, that will be of this type, first type. Only for raw data, we have to find the HM. And one more statement problem is there on harmonic mean. <coughs> so, I will read out the problem. In a certain office, 
in a certain office a letter is typed letter is typed by ye in 5 minutes in 5 minutes the same work or same letter is typed by b c and d in 4,8 and 6 minutes 4 8 and 6 minutes respectively what is the average time taken in completing one letter completing one letter since this is we are typing the letter the same letter we are typing for same letter we are typing so that the appropriate average is harmonic mean so appropriate average is harmonic mean to find the harmonic mean we know that these are the x values and uh, x values are 1 is for 5 minutes 5 4 8 and 6 take 1 by x it is 0.2 0.25 0.125 0.167 and take the total of this this is 0.742 then find hm hm is n divided by summation of 1 by x this is n is equal to 4 4 members are typing a letter 4 divided by 0.742 so our hm is equal to 5.39 minutes per letter so on an average they will take 5.39 minutes to type the same letter average we are finding so that we have taken this one we have some relationship between am gm and hm okay we have some relationship between am gm and hm and we have to show that or we have to prove that using the formula and the relation is am is always greater than or equal to gm or gm is greater than or equal to hm and this is one of the relationship between am gm and hm using the uh, by solving the problem we will show this relation okay using the following data using the following data show that am is greater than gm which is greater than hm we have to prove this or we have to show this and the values are like this x is 3.6 2.4 1.5 4.8 5.9 okay so for this data we have to calculate am gm and hm so that after that we have to calculate ea we have to calculate am gm and hm then we have to show that uh, the same is greater than gm and gm is greater than hm to first we will find the value of am am is equal to summation x divided by n summation x take the total so summation x is equal to 18.2 so it is 18.2 divided by n n is 1 2 3 4 5 5 so am value is 3.64 next to find gm it is anti log summation log x divided by n so to find anti log sorry to find gm we have to find the log so log values for x is 0.5563 0.3802 0.1761 0.6812 0.7709 then you take the total of this summation of log x 
the total of this is 2.5647 so here anti log 2.5647 and n is equal to 5 and this is anti log 0 0.5129 and gm is equal to 3.258 okay next to we have to find hm hm is equal to n divided by summation 1 by x we have to take the reciprocal of the observation that is 1 by x so i am continuing the table so to find 1 by x it is 2.778 0 0.4167, 0 0.6667, 0 0.2083, 0 0.1695. So, summation of 1 by x again you have to take that is 1.7389. Now, you substitute the summation of 1 by x and n value in a formula of HM. So, it is 5 divided by 1.7389 and this is 2.87. Five, four. So just observe the values we have uh, we have calculated for AM, GM, HM. AM value is 3.64. This is greater than 3.258 and this is greater than 2.8754. So that AM is greater than GM which is greater than HM. Hence proved. Atva showed. As we have showed, we have proved that. Okay. Next one. Using the following data, using the following data show that am is equal to gm gm is equal to hm we have to show that am is equal am gm hm are equal and the data is 4 comma 4 okay 4 comma 4 and here only we are having two observations to find am am is a plus b by 2 here a is equal to 4, b is equal to 4, okay. So, that am is equal to 4 plus 4 by 2, it is 8 by 2 or am is equal to again 4, okay. Next, to find gm, it is square root of a into b. The uh, definition of gm says that we have to take the nth root of the observations, the product of nth root. So, we have taken the product of two observation it is 4 into 4, this is square root of 16, again 8, sorry 4. So, gm is equal to 4 and to find hm, we have 2ab by a plus b. If I take uh, a plus b. If I take the reciprocal of this so that I will get uh, hm value, it is 2 into 4 into 4 divided by 4 plus 4 and again this calculation is 4 again. So, you just observe the formulas and the values. So, am is equal to gm that is equal to hm. Hence, Okay. Uh, in ex one in one of the exam, there are there asked this this question for five marks. So it is one of the important problem on this relation of AMGM HM. Thank you.